the House Committee investigating the January 6, 2021, Capitol riot will hear from Brad Raffensperger Georgia's Secretary of State, his deputy Gabriel Sterling, and Rusty Bowers Arizona's House Speaker, at the next public hearing scheduled for Tuesday. Tuesday's hearing, which is scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. ET, will focus on former President Donald Trump's pressure campaign on officials in key states to overturn the results of the election so he could stay in power. The panel will also show Trump's involvement in the fake elector scheme, involving Republicans in seven battleground states trying to form alternate slates of electors. The plan was for then-Vice President Mike Pence to point to those slates as a reason to cast the election in doubt and not declare Joe Biden as the winner during the joint session of Congress counting the Electoral College votes, according to The Washington Post. We will show courageous state officials who stood up and said they wouldn't go along with this plan to either call legislatures back into session or decertify the results for Joe Biden, Rep. Adam Schiff, Democrat California, told CNN's State of the Union on Sunday. The system held because a lot of state and local elections officials upheld their oath to the Constitution, a lot of the Republicans, as well as Democrats. Trump infamously called Raffensperger on January 2, 2021, asking him to recalculate the certified election results and claiming he had won the race. A recording of the call was first reported by The Washington Post. All I want to do is this, I just want to find 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, Trump told Raffensperger because we won the state. We don't agree that you have won, Raffensperger replied. Schiff also told the Los Angeles Times on Monday that Mark Meadows, Trump's then chief of staff, had an intimate role in this plot to put pressure on Georgia state legislators and on elections officials. The committee will reveal new evidence showing that Meadows was both present at a key election meeting in Georgia and suggested sending autographed Make America Great Again hats to the people conducting the audits, Schiff told The Times. Earlier this month, Raffensperger and Sterling testified before a grand jury in Fulton County investigating whether Trump broke the law when he pressured state officials to overturn the 2020 election results. Sterling helped oversee the 2020 election and the recount ordered in Georgia because of how close the results were between Biden and Trump. Sterling has also criticized Trump and his election lies, including during a press conference in December 2020. Stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence, Sterling said, according to PBS NewsHour. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get shot. Someone's going to get killed, Sterling continued. Before contacting officials in Georgia, Trump had also tried to pressure officials in other swing states, including Arizona. Trump, alongside his former personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani, called Bowers after Arizona's results had been registered, but not certified, in November 2020 to notify him of a state law saying the legislature could pick the state's electors, according to the Arizona Republic. Bowers questioned the constitutionality of the request and asked for proof, 
which the pair never produced. You're giving me nothing but conjecture and asking me to break my oath and commit to doing something I cannot do because I swore I wouldn't. I will follow the Constitution, Bowers recounted telling Trump and Giuliani, according to the Arizona Republic. Rep. Zoe Lofgren, Democrat California, confirmed the appearance of the election officials at the next hearing. These individuals are Republicans. They voted for Trump. They are, you know, supported him, Lofgren told CNN on Saturday. But they wouldn't do illegal things that he asked them to do. So we expect to hear in some detail about the pressure that was placed on them and why they were true to the law instead of the pressure. Lydia O'Connor contributed reporting.